Oh, YouTube.com, the Healist of Bow is it back for another video. And, um, you know, people, you know, this is, I've always wanted, I've wanted to discuss this for a while. You know, I want to talk about Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes at WrestleMania. You know, there's people are all over the, all over the world right now, you know, on the internet, I've been on the internet discussing, like, who should win between Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. I'm not going to give my predictions or something like that, but honestly, who do I think should win at WrestleMania? You know, between Cody Rhodes and the Tribal Chief. You know, on one hand, you got, of course, Tribal, you know, we got Cody Rhodes, who, of course, returned to WrestleMania last year, beat Seth Rollins, went on to have a fun ride with Seth Rollins, culminating, culminating inside Hell in a Cell. And, you know, we all know the freaking rest. Cody got the freaking pectoral tear, and then, of course, he returned to the Royal Rumble and won the Royal Rumble number 30. And he's been getting big reactions, all that kind of stuff, you know, all around, you know, we, we've seen it, you know, they sing Kingdom, they do the whoa, you know, all that stuff, you know, with Cody. You got kids dressing up as Cody, you got everyone dressing up like Cody and stuff like that. You know, he is the next guy of the company in some people's eyes. And on the other hand, you got Roman Reigns, the tribal chief, who's held the Universal Championship for almost, I think, 940-something days at least now at this point. He is now WWE Champion, of course. been WWE Champion since, of course, you know, last year's WrestleMania. So, that's, you know, and people want, of course, you know, Roman to pass a 1,000 days, you know, as the Universal Champion. Um, combined days, he's going to do that. Um, his second reign, you know, in general, I think he's going to do that in general. You know, he'd be around... Um, Towards the summer, he would um, be the um, a thousand thousand day mark, and um, it's okay. This is where people are like, "Oh, well, you know." On one hand, you got you know, again Cody who returned number thirty. He's been built up like the star, and the guy, the next guy of the company, got endorsed by John Cena. All that stuff, and on the other hand, you got. Roman Reigns, the longest reigning champ of the modern era, and what are we? What's what? That's what's everyone's speculation that who's going to win at WrestleMania? Um, honestly, like I'm thinking logically here with me, uh, with Cody. I mean, you know, he has the chance, you know, and all that stuff. Like you know, with his father never becoming WWE champion, he wants to do that for his father. I kind of stuff. I know people are always like, oh, well, that's the that's ever playing some of that. I understand that. I get that kind of set up frustration. That is the story they're telling going into WrestleMania, whether you like it or not. Um, that is the thing they're telling going into WrestleMania. Um, and on the other hand, of course, Roman, with his story, you know, the longest reign champ of the modern era, the tribal chief, nobody can put him down, apparently. Nobody is like, surpassed him, and nobody had, no, we're not going to see around like this for a very long time, if ever. Ever. So this reign, it can end only, this is only a once in a lifetime reign, in a pretty long time that we've seen this kind of championship run, you know, with Roman. And people are like, oh, well, you know, we need the right guy to beat Roman. So, I don't know. Like, for me, I'm not really choosing any sides, honestly. I'm a wait-and-see kind of guy with this whole thing with Roman and Cody. Um, but if I were to pick, if I were to pick, who would I choose to beat, you know, beat, win at WrestleMania 39? You know, honestly, I'd go with Cody Rhodes. I don't know. I don't know why. I think it'd be just, you know, quite like, oh, well, you know, the story and stuff like that, you know, it's fine. I get that. And again, I understand that. I get that. But at the same time, you know, they want the next face of the company. Like, they want the guy. And Cody, you know, right now, whether you like it or not, is kind of being positioned as the guy to carry the company into the future for a little, little while. And so, you know, got an upstart from NXT, like a Braun Breaker, Carmelo Hayes. I don't freaking know. Maybe we'll see what they got to do. Um, but I personally, for me, would have Cody would. But I'm also looking at Roman Reigns' situation too. I wouldn't want Roman across a thousand days. I would, I would not mind it honestly. But I don't think he should. I mean, it's a rain. It's a wrestling rain. But I do understand why people are like kind of um a little reluctant to have Roman Reigns you know lose the Universal Championship you know lose all he has right now this soon because they want across a thousand days all that, all that stuff. You also gotta realize for me this this is the most important thing for me. It's not about Cody and Roman. This is not about Cody and Roman to me. This is about the WWE Championship. The WWE Championship has not been seen on Monday Night Raw since last year. It's not been seen on Monday Night Raw since, of course, the Raw after Raw. Yeah, I know, like, yeah, we haven't had a defended champion. That's what I'm pretty much saying. You know, a defending champion. Roman is part-time. You know, they did want Brock Lesnar. They dang sure didn't want people like uh that, you know, people like that. So now Roman's the part-timer. And, you know, again, this is a once-in-a-lifetime reign. And it goes back, of course, to... January of last year when Roman got the cough cough. You know, I don't think any of this would have happened if Roman never got the C word, you know, COVID. Roman never got COVID. So it's it's just a big thing. I personally, for me, for me, it's not a prediction or anything. I would personally 
want Cody Rhodes to win just to get the WWE Championship back on Raw because we need a fighting champion. We need a new, we need a world champion. I think some people are, I, mean, I can't speak, for, I can't speak for you guys, but for me, I'm getting kind of tired of Roman is on the top. I do like Roman. I appreciate what Roman's done. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm digging it. But same time, like it's kind of the same old shtick over and over again with me, you know, acknowledge me, tribal chief, all that stuff. You know what I mean? It's kind of, you know, it's kind of run its course, you know, but it's at the same time, you know, it has, you know, it's, it's strengths and its weaknesses with this whole thing. Um, but at the end of the day for me, this is about the WWE championship, the most important championship of the company, not the universal championship. They're just building it up. Just like, you know, how they would any other championship. They're building up and making on par with the WWE championship. because how long Roman has held it. And Roman's land through, ran through many people. Logan Paul, Finn Balor, Jay Uso, John Cena, Brock Lesnar, Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn. Uh, many people, Drew McIntyre, we thought Drew McIntyre was going to win in Carter last year. You know, he's ran through everybody at this point. Who else is left? I'd be like, people saying, oh, well, you know, upstart, upstart from, upstarts from NXT and stuff like that. Honestly, I mean, you could do that. But again, people will be saying, oh, they're fast trends. Like okay, so I'm like, what do you want, people? What do you want? I don't know. But for me, I only want Cody to win. It's just me. I personally want Cody to win just to get the WWE title back on the freaking main show, please. I think, is Cody going to win? We're going to find out. Is Cody going to fulfill his destiny? All that kind of stuff, you know, make his father proud. And again, I know, I know people, some people don't like that. You know, he references his father all the time. Oh, it's the same shtick in AEW. I get that. I understand that. I sympathize with you. But at the same time, that is the story they're telling. But at the same time, they're trying to wove it into, you know, the bloodline story and then Roman and then legacy, all that stuff. You know, it is what it is. You know, it is what it is, honestly. I've, I've seen it all from Cody. Been following the guy ever since he got out of WWE in 2016, all kind of stuff, you know, from the starter stuff, you know, the dashing stuff. You all know the freaking wrestling Cody. He is, um, he's a very interesting figure with some people out there. And, um, he, um, he's, you know, in my opinion, he's in position to be the face of the company. He is being positioned to the face of the company. When you're getting your hand raised by John Cena, endorsed by John Cena and stuff like that, you know, of course, last week. I think you've made it in the company, whether you like it or not. That's just me. You know, it happened with The Rock, it happened with Cena himself, you know, it's happened with many people. So, John Cena was endorsing Cody as the next phase of the company. And you gotta look at the fans out there, you know, they're cheering, they're having fun. You know, it's not just the IWC and the YWC's opinion, you know, it's everybody else's opinion as well. Everyone's opinion in this whole thing matters, you know. Your opinion matters if you watch the video. My opinion matters if you're watching this video. It doesn't matter. You know, everyone's opinion matters when, at the end of the day when it comes to this whole story. You know, but for me, personally, if I were to choose who would win, this is not my prediction, but I, I personally would choose Cody just to get the WWE Championship Raw. Then we, then I know, like, all oh, the fans were turning on me, all that kind of stuff. And then, of course, there's the people like, oh, well, Sami Zayn, Sami Zayn, all that kind of stuff. That's another story. Sami Zayn's already pretty much, you know, going to be going and facing the Usos with uh, Kevin Owens. Well, that story's been pretty fun, too. Um, but... Yeah, pretty much. I mean, that's just my entire thing on Cody and, and Roman Reigns. Like, I just wanted to make this quick video just talking about, like, how I personally would book it. You know, the storyline's been pretty, pretty okay. I mean, it's not bad. It's not the worst. I don't think they're going to fight yet until they get in the ring at WrestleMania. It's just been words. It's just been words. I mean, yes, it's like they are bringing up Cody's father. They are bringing up, you know, all that kind of stuff. But, you know, Roman's trying to get under Cody's skin, and Cody's trying to be more of the respectful kind of individual. If that makes any sense in the story, you know. So, Honestly, we're just going to have to find out at WrestleMania. We're going to have to find out. I'm going to leave y'all with that. We're going to have to find out and see what happens at WrestleMania. And whatever happens at WrestleMania, happens. And is what it is. So, that's my two cents on Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns heading into WrestleMania 39. And uh, that's pretty much about it. Um, Raw was great last night. I enjoyed it. It was very fun. Um, the bump tomorrow, we get a person in 